Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a non-bingo Iraq, but it may be too good to change. If I could play something like Fag, then the rack leave of D-A-M-N, not too bad. Wow, that is the third game in a row that my opponent has opened with a bingo. So, what's best here? I need to check to see if I do have any bingos. I've got the I for an ING word that I'm close to defaming, but I don't have it. So I can't see, can't see a bingo with this rack through any of these floaters. Close to Fanny Garder as well. Strange word. So what to do? I've mentioned fag. Fad also a possibility. And I could play that here. Retaining NG to go with the eye of ignites. Not giving too much away. I don't really like this M with the G, but it's not a disaster. I'm going with this. I draw the V, which isn't great. I've got an I of my own now for ING, so I have Meething on my rack as a six. This looks close to a bingo, but I can't see a seven here. Wow, 44 points. That was the, the danger with IF. It does take that high scoring F after it. So I trail by about a hundred. So what I could do is play Meaving down here, which gets rid of and my problem tiles. It scores okay. It opens the board up, but not in a not in a reckless way. And the rack leaves okay. Ignites takes an L in front. I'm going with this. Poor pickup, all consonants, five of them. And the trouble is, if I play parallel to Meaving, I'll be I'll be closing the board now. I do have an L for Lignites, but I can't extend to a double word square. It would need to be a bingo to do that. So I need to consider whether to leave that alone. If and only if takes a Y after it. But any such play in row K would be killing the bottom of the board or massively restricting it. So as it stands, I've got Gab in column three. Wow, another bingo for my opponent. Great start for him. And there goes another, not, not another, but there goes the first of the blanks. Onto an E, I would have Bangle. I don't think this C is, is much good. I think the best I can do is bank, B-A-N-C, 24 points. So how about this? Bling, which takes an A in front, I've got an A. And I think given that I'm so far behind, I need to maximize the volatility of the board. So playing bling, opens a new bling bingo lane in column one and it also leaves the triple triple lane open and the rack leave is is a good one i'm going with this okay i have parriers in column one and a bling do i have a bingo through the c up rears is the anagram of parriers, which also plays in column one. So which will which 
bingo lane with my opponent considered the most the more dangerous probably row a because a triple triple is always going to score more than anything i can do in column one at the moment i haven't seen a bingo through the c but there could be one i'm fairly sure there isn't a triple triple but there could be a non-triple triple bingo but it has not come to mind so far. Let me consider the other floaters. Great, opponent takes that out for a, a miserly score. So do I have any alternatives to parriers? I don't think there are any lanes which are going to score more. So it's just a matter of choosing between the anagrams. And I still am behind by 130, so I think, well, I was going to say that dictates parriers because it opens up the bottom of the board, but up rear scores slightly more. And the board is open in the sense that there are the floaters from Cardoons, Column 11, Row K, and the option to open it further. So up rears for... 89. Not great. I draw the Q, but I do have the I to go with it. And through a P, I would have cough. I've got Chi and die for 30 odd points. And it's quite nice to get a good score with turning over a small number of tiles. Okay, opponent scores well, takes out bingo lanes. But I think my priority is just. Well, my priority is always to play the winningest move, and I can't. I don't think anything else falls into that category other than playing the queue off. And I can't see anywhere better on this board for the queue than where I've just put it down. I'm going with this. Slightly vowel heavy, but it could score entirely in the H. Close to dog teeth and ghettoed. Opponent continuing to score well. But there are still 40 tiles to come, including one blank and two S's, and I only trail by a bingo. So what to do now, right now? I could play T-H-E. And it's quite tempting. There are bingo lanes on this board. Oi takes an E and an S. There's bingos coming down from the Eye of Ignites. There's an S lane in row K. So I don't have to open the board up. And my opponent may stop scoring. So quite tempting to take to take the points where they're available. Can I do better than the My G can go underneath D I, as can my T. One thing that's nice about the is that it doesn't provide any easy easy scoring spots for my opponent, whereas Meaving provided the vor spot. The really provides absolutely nothing, so which might slow down my opponent's scoring rate. But is there really nothing better? And I'm thinking about something better. For example, a play which burnt the O as well as H and E. Not seeing anything. Just thinking about playing to the left of Cardoons. My H can go next to Om and Oi. So I could play ETH in that spot, but that leaves a worse rack leave. I'm going with the. Not great. Through a D, I would have gout weed. No floating Ds available. Great, just 19 for my opponent. However, just playing off two tiles could be holding on to a powerhouse. So did I pick U and W after playing HG? I think I did. Not great.
And I'm 60 odd points behind. So I could play Go Muto. Opens the board up, which is good. Doesn't provide a huge spot for my opponent, although a fairly, a fairly easy scoring spot playing parallel in row D. I'm splitting up U and W, which is important. Rack leaves not terrible. I'm retaining a scoring tile in the W. And the E is always a good tile to have. Only eight points, 18 points rather. So is there something better that I'm missing? Let me put this back. RE takes the W after it. 12 minutes on my clock. Om only takes an S. Oi takes an E. Can't see anything down from the I. I certainly wish to, to play off one of W and U, preferably both. I'm not, I'm not sure I can do that. I'm going back to this plan. Go Muto for 18. Vowel heavy. And this T may be just the, the flow to my opponent needs for a bingo. I trail by 48. The Y could be a significant tile for sticking on the end of if and only if that could be a Okay, opponents played there. 31 points could have been worse. And now row L is a reasonably hot lane. But I can't... St well, I can. I can. I can play where. Should I play where? Well, let me change it to where spelt this way. And where doesn't take an E at the end. Rack leave, potentially horrendous. 30 points, good. If opponent plays down from the W, he'll be creating new bingo lanes. But I'm creating a super hot spot in row M, just to stick a scoring tile underneath BA. But what, what can go there? The P can go there. Possibly the K. I don't think so. And the D, not too dangerous. And anything played in row M will create bingo lanes. So I quite like this play. I don't like the rack leave. Let me check the remaining vowels. 15 out of 35. Yeah, fairly balanced. Slightly consonant heavy. I'm still troubled by by this rack leave. I'm I feel that I'm overly reliant on luck to to get a decent rack after this. And I really want to have good rack leaves as soon as possible because I trail. I trail by a bingo. But if I don't play where, what do I play? I could play where one square further along. So that would take an, an A and an S in front, not so good. I'm going with this. I draw vowels. Well, two vowels, two consonants, so it's not a, a, a grotesquely unfortunate draw. And maybe I can leave myself a decent rack leave. Look at this, four O's to come. So it'd be good to get rid of the O on my rack. Gomuto takes an S at the end. Okay, opponent does bingo. And now moves into a 120 point lead with just 17 tiles left. So what can I what can I do here? Still the blank to come, still one S out there. Board wide open for bingos. Quite tempting to play down from the W. Or across. Four E's to come, so I don't have to hoard my E. I would like to play off the A and the O. 
and I can't do that through the W apart from a wall which doesn't hit the triple word square only one N to come, two L's to come, so a play of aloe might do the job. This is a tricky rack to sort out, no scoring tiles. I'm thinking about playing whale, 18 points. It's not a disastrous rack leave. It's just not a good one at all. I'm leaving this E alone. If opponent's drawn the X or the Z, 60 or 70 point play could be coming down. Do I do something about that? What about playing A on here? Only one A and two I's to come. Twenty one points. I'm creating a bingo lane. So I quite like this play. Is there something better I can do in the same spot? UR takes an N. So I could play Lanai. Let me just take this back. A better rack leave. Twenty five points, better score. Okay, welcome back. I had a massive technical mal malfunction, and which took three minutes for me to resolve, and I was unable then to record this, the screen. So we're picking this up now in Examiner. This was the point at which we left it. I was thinking about playing Lanai. I did play Lanai. My opponent had this amazing rack. He played Pointer. I play Exerts. And then opponent goes out with Edictal, so an absolutely stunning end to the game with three back-to-back -back bingos for my for my opponent, and he ends up winning with a score of over six hundred points. So absolutely fantastic stuff by my opponent, completely blew me away. So I hope you enjoyed watching that game, and I will see you next time. Or we can go back and do the analysis of the first bit of the game. Let's do that. So um, this is the opening rack. I've already done this once, but I hadn't realized that the, the screen wasn't recording. So here we go again. This was my opponent's opening rack. And he has a great start with Ignites. My rack. And I play Fad. And I still like that. The other plays score about the same and the vertical plays open the board up. Opponent has this rack. Fad has blocked and chafed. Plays Fay. I now have Meaving for 25, but I could have got nine more points by playing it through the Eye of Ignites with, and spelt differently. Great bingo by my opponent. He has Cardoons and now has a 130 point lead. I play bling and I still like that. Horrible rack for my opponent. He plays duct and I have uprears. Persuader also available through the E and the D. Opponent's rack plays my and now chi I think is the best play. Opponent's still struggling and only leads by 40 points at this point. Plays vor and I have the for 28. Nothing obviously better. Opponent plays AI, or VIA rather, for 19 and has now got a 60 point lead. I play Gomutu and what does opponent do here? This is where he utilizes that Y hook to good effect and is now a bingo ahead. I play where and this is where my opponent's rack suddenly uh, mature. And he has rookiest for 78. And this is where I had my technical malfunction. And it was just at the point where there was a bingo available. I didn't see it. 
I played Lanai instead. So quite a, well, it's probably not a massive miss because I think my opponent with this rack would have definitely gone on to win the game. He has a choice of bingos. There are five tiles in the bag. I empty the bag to get the points for exerts. And possibly it would have been better to, to not empty it and play off just two tiles because there are bingo lanes available on the board and there are no S's out there but there is on my rack so probably a play of EX at L13 would have been better and I play exerts and that's perfect for my opponents who can go out with Edictil and rack up the, the 600 points so once again um, I hope you enjoyed that and see you next time.